Music in the Mountains Young Composers Project explores a non-traditional approach to music composition. This program began with an in-depth visit to Animal Place, a sanctuary for farmed animals. This was an eye-opening experience. Twenty-three students were exposed to some of the harsh realities of the factory farm animal industry. The students' experiences became the inspiration for their individual music compositions. This interdisciplinary program culminated with a live performance of these brand new works. That was my aha moment, and it pushed me to want to be an ally to farmed animals and to advocate for them, and that's the reason that I do this work here. When we went to Animal Place, the first thing that I noticed were like the hills and the trees, and it was just, that, that just hits you how beautiful it is. The inspiration from Animal Place was largely the contentedness of the animals and how they seemed really, really happy to be there. Being a musician, I just kind of, I, I zoned in on the sound of the animals. I'm beginning my piece with um, the struggle of the animals and living in harsh environments. The thing that really stuck out to me was the, um, the amount of comfort these animals are now in. You know, they used to not be at all. They used to be in the worst place possible for them and now they're practically in heaven. I, mean, I, I would like to retire there. What I'm gonna base my composition off is the kind of journey I imagine an animal would go through from beginning its life in a conventional farm and being in these terrible conditions to being rescued and kind of experiencing freedom and the outdoors outside these cages for the first time. that can be effective if you're doing it deliberately, but for the most part you're trying to avoid that. It's four, so what is it? Here's the notes in the five chord. Now we can use, we can use passing tones. I'm still grappling with the problem of getting what I have in my mind, the song, the melody, the idea, and putting it into notes. It's tough to sit down and just do it. And even when you are inspired, it doesn't mean it always naturally flows. I've actually been having a little bit of writer's block with this piece because there's so many options. There's so many things to write about. There's so many different keys and like there's just so much to think about. A lot of times I tend to overthink what I'm writing and I try to intellectualize it when really it kind of just needs to come from within. And a good way of working through challenges and and kind of blocks is dropping some of the some of the ideas you have and just trying something radically different. You sang? We just had the woodwind quintet come in and and teach us about their instruments and, and like their ranges, how they work, what they can do, um, what not to do, how to write for uh, each individual instrument and a woodwind quintet as a, as a whole. The young composers returned to the animal place, revitalizing their central source of inspiration. We view life, um, all life precious, human life and non-human animal life. And that's really the essence of what Animal Place is all about. Now empowered, students were able to overcome some initial challenges, what they are writing about and who they are writing for. The composition process continued for a few more months, finally culminating in rehearsals and performances of 23 brand new works. 
It was very nerve-wracking, <laughs> I can definitely say that. It was phenomenal hearing my music finally come to life. So, my piece follows um, the idea of comfort and discomfort. These animals, they went from one of the most terrible places on Earth to the best retirement home ever. hearing all the different kinds of music and all the different things people do with the same source of inspiration. I'd probably say my favorite part was playing my piece on guitar alongside the Left Coast Ensemble because they're just amazing musicians. The best part for me was definitely getting to hear my piece performed live. 